Welcome everybody. It's Adam here from Press for Transparency. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing a reaction video. This is a video that was recorded by uh, For the Record. Go ahead and check out their channel when you have some time. But uh, For the Record is a channel run by a friend of mine out of Albuquerque. So the video I'm reviewing today and reacting to, it's a video that he recorded with press or with uh, Four Corner Fist in the Air on the Navajo Nation on December 20th, 2023. They both went to the president and vice president's office on the Navajo Nation in Arizona. <clears throat> So this is my first time making a video in OBS Studio. OBS is a software I installed on my computer. I'm using a chroma key, the chroma key function of OBS. Basically, uh, I have a green screen behind me that's allowing me to just overlay my facial image onto the screen over the video that for the record recorded and I'm going to be just interjecting comments and talking trash here and there about some tyrants and uh, sharing uh, some other screens with the Navajo Nation Bill of Rights and uh, some case law and then a short clip from a video from Four Corner Fist in the Air. So th this is pretty cool for me. So I feel like it's a little more personal to have my face uh, on the screen so you can see how I'm reacting to whatever it is that I'm watching. And, and then it's also just cool that I can have these different layers that I can flip through throughout the recording to show you some documentation along the way. And uh, as we go through the video, I'm going to be skipping through some of the uh, slower stuff on the video. Uh, if you want to watch a full version of the video that For the Record recorded, go to his YouTube channel and you can watch that. Otherwise, just expect me to be interrupting this a bunch. It's December 20th, 2023. I'm invited by a journalist and a member of the Navajo Nation. There you go. Four corners, fist in the air. Window rock, window rock. As an independent and freelance journalist myself, I know this would be a matter of public interest. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land, pursuant to Article 6, Section 2. And for a secondary law to come in conflict with the supreme law would be illogical, for the supreme law would prevail Quote, unquote, Chief Justice John Marshall, Supreme Court. This is recorded for news purposes and for the record. A public notice of recording. Okay, so here's the front door. <clears throat> They walk in the lobby. Uh -oh. Sound like a party here. <laughs> Christmas party started early, huh? And what you can see here is a bunch of expressive activity going on in this public lobby. Uh, basically, they're setting up a you know a Christmas celebration display, you know, which is basically a, you know them exercising their right to religious activity. You know, it's a Christian tradition 
tradition, I would say. Uh, and it's, you know, part of the First Amendment. So uh, it's, it's unclear if these are all public officials or if some of them are members of the public. But either way, there's expressive activity going on in here. It is. All right. Getting in the, getting in the uh, spirit here. Very nice, very nice. Looks, looks nice in here. Okay, we're gonna fast forward. They go what? They walk down this hall, hallway, to go look inside the offices from the hallway. Here's a picture of the governor of New Mexico and some other people. I think that's the president of the Navajo Nation in that picture. They're getting video of people in these individual conference rooms. Let's see what this yes. is. Hello. Hi, who are you guys with? I'm uh, with For the Record. For the Record? Uh, independent journals just gathering public information okay. the public interest okay. exercising my rights on the Navajo Nation Bill of Rights you don't mind giving us a public tour um, I can't right now because I'm busy setting up the oh display. you're doing the yeah alright doing the photo shoot there yeah just don't huh? enter any rooms can oh, well, just we're not, we're not gonna yeah. yeah we're not gonna go in any, any author, unauthorized areas Uh, the media room. Okay, so they're looking into a, an office space where there's some what appear to, to be employees just sitting around on a couch doing nothing. Uh, it's somewhat incriminating for them, you know. They, they're probably like uh, not comfortable being recorded because they, you know, they know they're just sitting around. Well, I guess this is where our room is. Where the media? <laughs> Do you get to come in here? <laughs> the media room. Are you visiting yourself? I am. Okay. Looks like you're doing well. Okay. Media room. Oh, nice. Yeah, just inform us uh, what you guys do. What's that? You can just inform us what your job title is, what you actually do in this office here. Oh, we're the media department. Yeah, but they In a moment, uh, this officer is going to claim that these uh, people are working inside this office. And as you can see, they're not really working or doing much of anything there. Yep. Yeah, just a member of the public. How's it going? Yeah. How you doing? Who are you guys? Uh, I'm me and he's him. And... I know, but who are you guys? Uh, I don't give out that information. I'm got Maybe. a YouTube channel for the record. Can I get your name? names. I don't know why. Who are you guys? I'm just, okay, just I'm a citizen. Kind of general. So as we can see here, these public officials are getting uncomfortable because there's journalists asking for names and they know that there's people just sitting around doing nothing. So there's definitely some uh, discomfort occurring with these public officials. And this guy right here uh, is a, what appears to be a police officer who turns into a complete thug in a minute here. Just gathering public information for public interest. This is a public building, right? All right, you guys, yeah. Yeah. You guys work for the public. Now we're just doing a little story on the Navajo Nation, is all. Now yeah, we're just doing this story, checking it out, seeing. Uh, we did a tour outside. People were liking the, the window walk out there. Okay. Yeah. Make it to me. Marvin Joe. Marvin Joe, thank you. Been there on the side, on, on the side right there. No recording. Yeah. 
So his name is Marvin Joe, unless you could not hear that otherwise, but it sounded like Marvin Joe. He's a, I believe he's a police officer on the Navajo Nation. In that room. Yeah, I'm just curious, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, we're yeah. just doing a story, a visit. Doing a story on our visit here, uh, checking out the place, you know. Just taking a public tour? Yeah, and recording it. What, what media are you with? I'm in Uganda. From what? Actually, from the Navajo Nation. Yeah, that's why I'm from Uganda. You know where I can get a different form? Different information from the back. But that's all. That's all we're doing. What do you do? What's your? I'm a police officer. Oh, a police officer. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes. All right. Cool. Cool. Last number. Three one one seven. Okay. We're also do asking. We'd like to know if uh, if uh, our uh, law officers know the First Amendment, mm -hmm. and uh, if you can recite the First Amendment. There's five freedoms of the First Amendment. One of them is freedom of press. You know, there's freedom of speech. But is there any that you know of the fir of those first five freedoms? I'm not going to talk to you about that. At this point, I've done nothing to warrant a trespass or to become a nuisance. And you cannot turn lawful activities into a crime. Well, that's all we're doing. We're asking too. You're asking us and we're asking you. So this guy's getting butthurt. You know, this cop is butthurt because for the record, I asked him if he knew the five freedoms related to uh, freedom of speech and religion, press, petition, assembly, and of course this guy doesn't know him, so he's butthurt and he's not gonna tell him, he's not gonna answer the question. Just because this is my job. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and the First Amendment is your job too. You know, because you made it, you swore an oath to defend the Constitution, which is... Uh... So the cop's trying to get the journalists away from these offices where there's incriminating evidence of employees sitting around on couches uh, wasting taxpayer dollars and the uh, the the cop is running cover uh, trying to exclude transparency in this uh, limited public forum oh, well, we're not bothering them right now we're just talking to you Oh. Let's go come on this way. Oh, oh no, no, we're no, we're just seeing it. Is this the end down here? Yeah, that's the end. Is this the end? All right, well, we're just checking it out here. Can you guys come to the front? Yeah, come to the front. Thanks. For what? We're asking you. Really nice of you come to the front. Well, we're, we're, we're just, just here. We're, well, we're talking to you. We're here. Yeah. You go to the front and I'll follow you. Okay. Go. Go you first. No. What? There you go. I'm not going to follow Oh, well, I'm stay here talking to you. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 Hey, let's let's find out more nice well, what's, to work with you. Okay. Let's find the meeting. You're more or less like trying to push us a little bit. Uh, yeah, you're trying to intimidate us, is what you're doing. Well, then why don't you go first? Let's find the meeting. Come on. We can talk there. You can go first. Let's find the meeting. What workspace right now? Can we sit down and talk? Yeah, no. Let's talk. All right. We've got meetings. I'll go with you. Oh. Well, you guys are. Okay, so now they head over to the chief of staff's office or whoever, whoever's office it is. This is the chief of staff, this guy right here. They sit down at a table with him. And they explain, you know, the chief of staff explains that they need to sign in and like schedule a time to come in and video record so they can make sure, well, you know, you know, in the back of his mind, he's thinking, oh, we just want to make sure nobody's sitting around on a couch 
when you do come in to record in the future, but uh, really he's... We're not going to any office spaces. We're only... He's just trying to get them to sign in and tell them who they are and get them to waive all their rights before they go into this public building. We're going to what's open to the public. Okay. The hallway, the lobby. We're not going into any offices. And who are you filming for, if you don't mind me asking? For myself. I mean, who, what's your what's what's your group? What's your name? What's your name? Uh, I'm for the record. For the record, what's your yeah. name? I, I told you, Carlos already. Carlos. That's that's all I'm telling you. Just Carlos. With, with myself. Like he said, he's exercising his fourth. No, guys, it's beyond that. It's no, it's not. It's not. Is, There's nothing not, beyond the fourth. There's citizens. nothing beyond the fourth. You're not just citizens. That's the you're, supreme law. You're independent. Obviously, you're an independent what? Journalist. Journalist, okay. Is that your card? Yes. Okay. What does it say on the back? What it's, five freedom do we have? It says you're with Four Corner First. Fist in the fist air. Near, fist in the air. Oh, freedom Warriors, okay. Homeland Security, fighting terrorism since 1492. Cool. Okay. What does it say? Oh, read the back. What, what are the five freedoms? I, I understand. <laughs> the five freedoms of the First Amendment, right? To accommodate you guys. Well, we're not, we're not well, you were being, we were very accommodating and until you stopped accommodating us by stopping us. And, 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 uh -huh. and we weren't doing anything. We have every right to do that much for the safety and the security of the employees. I've done nothing unsafe and we've done nothing to be insecure. This is his attempt to fabricate uh, some kind of um, issue. Okay, we what's, no what's not we safe? We have no idea who you are. That is not reason enough to be trespassing me or thinking I'm a nuisance. I'm a guest of a tribal member. Navajo tribal member, four corners, fist in the air. There was no that doesn't mean there's no... There's no you didn't that doesn't mean there's nothing unsafe. Action, so. What's we unsafe if there's something aggressive that. going on? We don't know that. Sir. Oh, so you're Carl, accusing me of something? Carl, you're accusing us. That. Exactly. You the don't the know the accusation that. is not there. It's an assumption it's, that we don't know who oh, you are. Oh, see, so you're making assumptions too. We don't know who you are. You're making assumptions, and, it's, it's and you can't be making for, assumptions. It's not safe for the people in the know what they say. Know who's here? What and assumptions are like? People right? That come here. Are you know? There's a sign-in process. We know exactly where they're from. <laughs> that's what you should have done. You should have. That's your that son. goes against the Fourth Amendment. There okay. to be secure in your person's papers and effects. To have your privacy against our government wanting to know who we are, what we're doing, what we're where we're going, what we're and spending our money point, on. Because we. Okay, I just I just want to bring to your attention the Navajo Nation Bill of Rights. Okay. And here it is on the screen. And, uh, you know, it's specific to what's going on in this office, I think, is uh, Section 5. This is, uh, this is the law. It's Section 5, Searches and Seizures. It basically mirrors the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. You know, saying the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrant shall issue upon, but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. So there's that. And then how about the uh, Indian Civil Rights Act? Oh, yeah, and then... Uh, this is a uh, U.S. Code uh, Section 1302, 25 U.S. Code Section 1302 about constitutional rights. You know, basically it says, no Indian tribe in exercising powers of self-government shall violate the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures, nor issue warrants, but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched in the person or thing to be seized. So that's yet another example of law that protects individuals, or should, it's supposed to protect people like these journalists going into this 
public building. Uh, this is in Arizona. So then we've got the uh, Arizona Constitution and uh, Article 2, Section 6, which basically says that uh, every person may freely speak, write, and publish on all subjects, being responsible for the abuse of that right. So that does pertain to the free press activities they're involved in. Now let's get back to this video. Right. We've got to get back to work. We're probably going to ask you guys if you're done then we'd like you to be done and because we've got public coming in we've got people coming in that's what we want to record we, we want to see public coming public. in that's press that's part of the news <laughs> see traffic coming into the navajo nation see what they're doing see what their business is see what you guys do what your business is what he does you know it's part of the news it's public and, and information and the, and the that everybody's see, interested in i strongly in. suggest next time let's do it by invitation let's consult with one another let's talk to one another and we'd be happy to um, let you know our daily activities and so on so and, and that's next fine. time next time let's do it in a process where you email and we respond and let's we stay connected that's how all media outlets and up to this point that's exactly how they do it so basically this chief of staff wants the journalist to ask permission to exercise their rights which would make it a privilege and not a right to to go in there and record but you know that that you know what we're trying to do is we're at some point though we don't have time to accommodate you so we may have to ask you to leave so uh, and, and, and business with other people as well. And uh, what I was going to say was, um, uh, what, were, what was the number just we saying? Had, uh, I oh. want to get some info from the information of the Public Records Act. So I want to request some records about, the, about stuff. That okay. I There's a process for that. You don't get it here at the president's office. Well, I'll still go to the front. To the Who told you that? Oh, uh, and, and even... Here. Okay. Just and so even though we're Navajo still, Nation, it's part of another visit too. The Navajo Nation, there's an office of records management. Go, that's where you go to obtain records. No, I get your name. Yeah, my name's Officer Joe. Officer Joe, you're an officer. You know what the five freedoms are? I'm a Navajo police officer. Yeah. What's the five freedoms? And so, well, we're practicing our our, our so first I, amendment right. I'm going to turn it over to you, uh, Marley. So I'm, I, I at this point, okay, we're, we're done here. We're done, gentlemen. Right, you guys, please recognize that. You're done. In that's the all right. future, when you want to visit the office, let's do it through a. Well, that's what process. I wanted to say. Let's that's what I wanted to say. Process. Uh, let's get talk to one another. We can schedule what we want to, what we got to do, and how we want to go about it. And so, okay. That's that's what I want to say. Coming in here to to do this press, is is not by uh, so much as uh, by. Uh, making a meeting right so you guys can be ready and be prepared and everything this is more or less a um, candid candid press you know to You're get being your candid we're being you know, candid so. yeah exactly that's and, what we and we're done now or we got to get back to okay okay well we don't want to stop you we're not trying to stop you you, okay. you know we wanted to talk and you gave us and i appreciate the time you you're giving us thank too. you i appreciate it that's very nice i don't tell me transparency and accountability okay and you guys aren't being very transparent how well, well, we're while you're trying, how are we not being transparent? While you're we trying to take this out now, the building, um, there's a limit to it, and we're at that point in time where we've got to uh, we're engaged with the. Thank you. We just want to. Is this a? Uh, what office is this? What what, what do we have in here? Oh, Wow. Well, oh, executive assistance, finance. Oh, but this is the lobby, right? No, this, this is, is the public. Lobby. Office. This would be the lobby. Oh, all right, all right. Cool, cool. Very nice. Okay, so it looks like they're preparing for a photo shoot. So basically, they're saying either these public officials or some contractor can take photos or the public that comes in to take photos of their families in this setting here are okay to take photos but these journalists are not allowed to take photos and as you can see they're about to get kicked out by force we got people coming in we're not blocking anybody 
This is what we want to report. This is what hey, 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 hey. I'm not breaking the law. We're not breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. Without without this we have just as much right as everybody else in this lobby to be there. The only difference is we're recording. And their excuse is that they don't know us and that makes it unsafe. Without my, this is for the public. Everybody's allowed in here. Now we got kids here. Now you're just going to create and an what? unsafe environment for kids. We're not creating anything unsafe. We're just recording. What's going on right now? Like I said, we're asking you to leave nicely. Asking you to leave, but this is what we want to record. People coming in. Come on, guys. Be, be We're not doing anything. No, no, We're recording the news. This is for news purposes. Okay, that's fine. Right. We understand that. We just need you to go. If they're evacuating this place We're because not. We're recording. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's don't go. touch me, man. I'm not breaking the law. You have no right to be Come touching on. me. Let's go. Unless I'm breaking the law. Let's go. Come on. Outside. Unless I'm breaking the law, you don't have the right to be touching me. Let's go. I'm not breaking the law, okay? Yeah, you're asking me to leave. What am I doing? Why do you want me to leave? We have a lot of things going on. And am I breaking the law by staying here? We're not going to do nothing until we break the law and commit a crime. Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law by, by being here? Let's go. Come on. This is for, this is for visitors. Let's go. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go. He put in his hand. Hey, don't go. touch me, man. Let's go. Don't Come touch on. me. Out. Let's go. You don't have the right hey, to be touching me, man. Go don't be touching me. Relax. Yep, yep. See this guy? You guys are violating our rights. Yeah. You're violating our rights. We have the right to. We have the right to record what's going on in there. Fast forward a little bit. So they. The public officials called the police. They're en route. Ma'am, were we, were we doing anything earlier? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Privateness of equal access to public property depriving us the freedom of press, which also deprives us our freedom of speech. Uh, report, paperwork, this guy really assaulted me. He put his hands on me, and he bullied me out of the building. And this it wasn't me, we were breaking the laws. Hold on, just a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me have both of you step over here for a moment, okay? Come on, let's just step over here. If you want to do a report, I need to separate you. Separate us? Yes, I need to speak with you over here separately from these gentlemen, okay? Separate from them? 140 is on his way over. Come on, step over here. Okay, what is your name, sir? Good citizen. If you want to report, I need your name. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Because if you want to file charges, listen, hold on, hold on, listen, listen. Right. If you want to file charges on that gentleman, you want charges to go forward, you're going to have to go to court, which means that you... So initially, four corner fist in the air does not give any information about his name and you know personal info to this officer and for the record eventually tries to go back into the facility okay did at any time did he grab your arms your hands push me from behind okay so he did I not think grab for the record he was just pushing i think for the record had already tried to go back in I just fast forwarded through that part and now this uh, second officer drives up and starts talking to him. Yeah, what's your little song? Okay. All right, so you want to file charges against Mr. Did you get his name? Uh, I forgot his name. It's all on film. You'll see it on film. Okay, I, I'm not asking to view your Just know that your, your, your recording can be used in court as so well. right now I'm going to have to get some personal You understand? Did you guys drive here? Did you guys walk here? Do you understand that? I can't go walk with first thing, Justin. Well, you know what? I'll be leaving this time. Let him know that he has no right to come here. So why do you feel you have to record? Okay, I will speak to 
I have to pray protect myself protect you know you everyone danger? around me hmm? are you in danger do you record normally all the time yeah yeah do i do how do people usually take you to that uh they don't like it yeah people no, don't like don't it too much but when you're out in public there's no expectation of privacy there's kind of some expectation of privacy. there's none none unless you create it yourself but then like you said unless I asked, you create I asked it for yourself. your name you didn't want to give me your name so right? why is that fair because why is it fair that you name and i don't yeah, I gave you my name. I'm because being, you're I'm a public servant. Because you're a public servant. And you're a part of the public. So we're, no, this is just and, a and I'm I'm, this I'm is a just private a, I'm a private a citizen. Counter, yeah. And I'm just asking for your name. And I'm a private citizen, and I'd rather not give okay. government entities any so information about. So why do you have to feel you had to record then? Well, for the record. Record for and what? For the record. What's the purpose of the record? And whatever it might be for press press purposes. So this officer, this tyrant thug, is just trying to justify. Uh, the trespassing of these journalists so that you know they can get rid of all transparency in this public building and this public property there's a story uh-huh. and who knows uh you might uh get an attitude all of a sudden or something I'm just asking you no but i'm just saying you said why would i do that but yeah, you know because i would like to know because and just in case you know things happen and, and mm-hmm. things erupt just like what happened in there we weren't doing anything in there well you- No reason. Where am I supposed to go? All this is open access. He's trespassing me from from uh, public property. All public property. You're gonna if be you violating are, my right. You, you, you want to violate my right? What, are you refusing? What's your officer? What's your, Begay. Officer Begay. All yes. right, Begay. So are you gonna leave? Yes or no? Right way, of- uh, I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. Well, let's have a seat back in my unit, man. No, I'm not. Hey, hey, hey! hey. Look at. Okay, now we're going to switch to a different window. I want you to see the point of view from uh, Four Corner Fist in the air, if we can. Be allowed after today. We're not, we're not no, the no. We're they they make that call in the building. Oh, well, they can't violate my rights. They can't violate my rights. They can protect everyone in the building at this point. That's their policies. They have to follow their policies to be... Exactly. Be, exactly. They have to follow yes, through with their policy but this is, to protect uh, everybody and the president. I'm abiding building. by the law. Okay. You know, policies that okay. over Trump. If you still want to do this, policies. we can go inside, have you sign in, and then I can ask somebody to give you the tour that you're requesting for. You can do it legally. You can do it in the right way instead of that's being my, there and doing that. That's exactly violating my Fourth right Amendment, hand. taking my hey, information. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, 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 look at him. You're trespassing now. I'm not trespassing. That's right. I'm not trespassing. Hey, you're assaulting him. Hey. You're assaulting him. Okay, sir, I'm going to ask you to leave today. So, this officer never even tells for the record that, he, that he's under arrest. He just grabs him and stuffs him into the vehicle. Uh, so, it's basically... Uh, false imprisonment from what I can tell. It's a kidnapping. A lawful order to leave the premises. Hold on, I'm filming If this. you do not want to abide by those lawful orders, I will also place you under arrest for trespassing. Do you yeah. understand that? Oh, that's all I needed. You're gonna, you'll place do, me under do, arrest. Do you understand that? You, you, said, you can leave. I'm giving you a chance to leave. I'm giving you that chance to leave right now. Where can I get a, where can I get a hold of him? At the police station? Yes. So you can get information at the police station. Right now, I need you to leave the premises. I'm giving you a lawful order to leave. I'll be. A- you will either be arrested for trespassing, or you can leave. So this tyrant thug is forcing Four Corner Fist in the air to leave under threat of arrest. You know, violence. Basically, this lady is willing to use violence against. Four corner fist in the air for not leaving this public property. So basically, they're standing on a traditional public forum where civil rights have the greatest protections possible. That's outside on the streets, sidewalks, parks. That's where he's standing. But yet, this thug, this tyrant criminal, is forcing him to leave while the other tyrant thug is arresting for the record.
right now. Travel I'm leaving. Okay. So Please do so right now, sir. We're asking you to do that. I'm doing it under duress. Is how I'm, what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Carlos, I'll be out. I'll keep in touch. I'll be over there, Carlos. So, four corner, fist in the air, takes off, goes out to the sidewalk, and he later bails uh, for the record out. Here's a, an audio clip from a phone call that I made that same day to find out where they took for the record after they kidnapped him. Hi, I'm just trying, hoping to talk to somebody about the uh, kidnapping of the photographer at the Window Rock Visitor Center. Are you, are you somebody I could talk to about that? Uh, let me transfer you to dispatch, okay? Oh, no, they told, they, they told me to call you. They gave me your phone number. What is my phone number? 928-871-6116. Uh, are you the Lieutenant Six? Uh, no, she's actually at a meeting this morning. I could just take your name and number, and then I'll have her give you a call back. Okay, my name is Good Citizen. And my phone number is 970. And your name, sir? Good Citizen. And your name? Marsha. Marsha? Yes. So you're not going to tell me your last name as a public servant? Okay, so we got some secret government officials going on here, huh? So who who is it that told are you, you? Are you the same guy that called earlier? So are you trying to obstruct my investigation, ma'am? Uh, no. I need a. I need your name, sir. Okay. So you you think that. We have to give up our rights, but you don't have to identify yourself, huh? Is that how this works? Uh, apparently, you're not giving me your name, so I would not know that, sir. So you think you can just operate in secret with the, the people's taxpayer dollars? Is that is that how this works? Okay, so you have a second. So you're a secret government, Marsha? No. No. Secret government, Marsha, is that your name? Marsha, the secret government official? No. Okay, so who's, who, who is in charge that's directing the kidnappings on your reservation? Uh, you can get in contact with a missing person. Oh, I already called them. So now you're just directing me to random places to, to try to... Okay, sir, what is your name? Okay. So you know that we have civil rights, right? The Bill of Rights, there's the Navajo Nation Bill of, Bill of Rights, Section 5. What does that, what does Section 5 say? I would not know that. Oh, okay. So you don't know about the right to be secure in our person's papers and effects? You just try to bully people into giving up I their names? I can you to an officer if you want to speak to an officer. How about Section 4 of the Navajo Nation Bill of Rights? You know what that, what the, what the five freedoms are? given to the people on that? Do you know what those freedoms are? The right to petition government government for redress of grievances? Do you know what that is? Are you, are you going to answer any more questions? Or are we back in a secret government mode? Can you tell me where the the victim is being held who the Navajo Nation kidnapped? I can transfer you to an officer, sir, if you want to speak to an officer. Sure, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, hold on. This is number two. Okay, so what's your please? Is this a police officer? This is Wonder Up Police Dispatch. Oh, no, I was told I was being transferred to a police officer. This is a dispatch line, sir. Okay. Well, somebody transferred me to the wrong place. I was trying to get in touch with a police officer who could 
talked to me about the individual that was kidnapped at Window Rock Visitor Center. Okay, that's going to be handled with the primary officer who's handling it. Right now, he is currently busy. Oh, okay. How convenient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so he's a secret government official that doesn't uh, give out his name and doesn't doesn't identify himself, and you don't identify him either. And just just you a secret. You can ask for his name, sir. So what's his name? Officer Begay. Begay. Okay. Begay. And what's his first name? And badge Officer number. Officer Deshaun Begay. I don't have a badge number. Okay. And um, what's the uh, secret government agent's uh, phone number? It's the number you called, sir. Okay, and where, where is the kidnapped individual being held? Kidnapped individual? I don't think he's being kidnapped, sir. Sure he is. He's being kidnapped under no lawful authority. That's a kidnapping. Okay. Well, unless you were part of the um, incident itself, I cannot release any information, but if you would like to leave a message for the primary officer who's handling it, I can take that. Where is the, the victim being held? Sir, if you would like to leave a message, I can take your information. You can't tell me where what what cage. He's going to be at Crown Point facility. Crown Point facility. Mhm. On what charges and what bail? I can't give you that information. That will be the officer who will be able to give you that information. Oh, so you're hiding it, huh? Hiding the I'm information. Not hiding it, sir. Unless you have an emergency, this is an emergency line. No, nine one one is an emergency line. This is an emergency line for Wonder Rock Police District, sir. Well, you guys have fo somebody forwarded me to this line, and there's no other way to find out where he's being held. Okay, well, I can take your message. I can take your name, your phone number, and the officer can give you a call back. Uh huh. Now you guys already have all that. Okay. Anything else I can help you with? Crown Point. So Crown Point. Is there a jail in Crown Point? Yes, there is. You can Google it, and it should pop up. Okay, and so are there more secret government agents there that don't answer questions? And you can call them and ask, sir. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did leave my name and phone number with the people at the police department of Navajo Nation and or dispatch they never called me back of course it's a secret government operation going on there but eventually for the record got bailed out i believe it was the next day or so he stayed in jail overnight and then got well he uh i think he was released on his own recognizance early the next morning at a really absurd hour Four corner fist in the air picked him up anyways i just wanted to uh to bring up some case law and some uh, other ideas for how to handle a situation like this if you're uh, an independent journalist gathering content for a story uh, it's always important to invoke your first amendment rights with these government officials with these public officials you know of course the first amendment is the first logical thing to to bring up and point to, but being on a Navajo reservation there, uh, of course, the Navajo Nation Bill of Rights was an important document to bring up there. Let me just pull that up real quick again. So, of course... Uh, and then the Indian Civil Rights Act, uh, so Section 1302, number one, is basically the equivalent of the First Amendment. And then number two is basically the equivalent of the Fourth Amendment, right? And then going back to the Navajo Nation Bill of Rights, of course, there's Section 4, and five, which are basically the equivalents of the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. And then on top of that, I would say it's a good idea to 
point to the case of Brandsburg v. Hayes. You know, basically what it says is that it has generally been held that the First Amendment does not guarantee the press a constitutional right of special access to information not available to the public generally. So what that means to me is that uh, wherever the general public is allowed, so is the press. And I think this is one of the most uh, relevant pieces of case law. However, there's also some, uh, some case law uh, such as Smith versus City of Cumming, which says that the First Amendment protects the right to gather information about what public officials do on public property and specifically a right to record matters of public interest. There's also uh, Miller versus United States, which says that the claim and exercise of a constitutional right cannot thus be converted into a crime. And this case was more relevant to uh, the Second Amendment. However, I think it also has applications to the First Amendment, you know, in terms of having some public official trying to convert uh, video recording into a crime by saying it's not safe or saying that it's trespassing now or now you, you know now you, you're a trespasser because you're video recording that's basically uh, converting a right into a crime is what they're doing and then on top of that there's Glick versus Cunefy which says in summary though not unqualified a citizen's right to Film government officials, including law enforcement officers, in the discharge of their duties in a public space is a basic, vital, and well-established liberty safeguarded, safeguarded by the First Amendment. And that's a 2011 case out of the First Circuit. So I'd say uh, I'd recommend to anyone doing audits to uh, point to these cases and the year and the circuit when confronted by these thuggish public officials that want to limit transparency in these public places uh, so that's that's what I would do it's a good way to strip them of their qualified immunity uh, and I highly recommend exercising your rights in public record your public officials and uh, I just want to be supportive of these independent journalists. Thank you all for joining this first attempt at an OBS recording of mine. I've, I've never done an OBS recording in a chroma key before. I think it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of potential. It's inspiring, empowering. I'll be doing it again. Thanks for joining. Press for transparency. Have a good one.